pepperoni and black olives. Yeah. Light, light sauce, light sauce, please. Okay, thank you. I gotta go, I gotta go. Thank you. For a number of years now, work has been proceeding in order to bring perfection to the crudely conceived idea of an amplifier that would not only supply inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters. Such an instrument is the Demore Engineering A-Series Amplifier. Now basically, the only new principle involved is instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magneto reluctance and capacitive directance. The original machine had a base plate of pre-famulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurbing bearings were in direct line with the panometric fans. The latter consisted of six hydroscopic marzal vanes mounted to the ambifacient lunar wane shafts in such a way that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The main windings are of the normal lotus delta type placed in panodermic semi-bulloid slots on the stator, every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring of the cardinal gram meter. The A-series amplifier has now reached a high level of development and is being used in the operation of Novartronians. Moreover, when a fluorescent score motion is required, it may also be used in conjunction with the reciprocating dingle arm. This is to reduce sinusoidal oscillation. We here at Demore Engineering are very excited about the release of this amplifier. We believe that it is going to fix global warming and the sea turtles.